everybody. Welcome back to another Top Deck Heroes product review. Um, they got Game to Game Genic products this time. Some of their official ones, not uh, the um, Vanguard collab stuff. Um, we'll start off with this, which is the Games Layer 600 Plus convertible deck storage case box thing. I don't care. I want it. <laughs> um, it's got a lot of neat features. It's an exclusive color, I want to say. Um, most of the time they come in like either blue or red. This one's in a special black uh, and orange with inner orange. And um, yeah, let's crack into it and see what it looks like inside. I want to open it up. <laughs> I, um, I am being that selfish right now. I want to open it up. Oh, on the mat. That's right. That's right. I am selfish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Heck. Yes. I just like this. Then. Folds out. The air right, I, I, I am like a kid at Christmas right now. All right. This is <laughs> so you're granted, right, as you open it, you'll see an interior layer and let the game begin. Uh, package in here. And then it slides out with it. Oh, okay. That. Uh, on the sides, uh, your perfect gaming uh, night companion, Game Genic logo, and the same thing on this side. So set it down, slide this up. You put that to the side. And then we're granted or presented with the uh, the box itself. The actual product. Surprisingly, this feels softer than, oh, it does. than the original ones. I think they use a different material, so it actually feels really nice. Okay, let's open it up. It has like side. an Alcatara feel to it. So, so it opens up from the sides, it uses magnets. So you pull it up and the case comes off. It can also double as the storage case, so you can snap these back in, and keep it like this if you want to, or if you set it to the side, these are a bit rough at first, but you can magnetically slip these to a dice tray. So if you're playing like board games like D&D, Pathfinder, or any other kind of board game, you can actually use these to roll your dice into. Right, we'll set that to the side for now. Feels the inside. Like this feels better than the other ones. It's like the original ones. Oh, nice. they have nice felt symbols. Like, oh, right? right? Like this is so beautiful. So inside they have really good material, like a felt material to protect the cards that are in there. Because some people may want to just put loose cards. You can put deck boxes and other things you might want to put in here. Also, you get another dice tray, I guess you would really use, or a dice tray or a storage container for whatever you need to. Um, they have a nifty little card in here saying. Thank you from Game Genic that this passed their um, ever pleased, you know, share this in other places. Just like this video here. So, the main compartment, you got like a little, so like I said earlier, a dice or storage tray. There's a main compartment here with a divider that you can put cards in. The divider can also move over so you can have more storage space, in like a little side area here if you want that, or you can just take it out completely if you want. And this is clear, clear, a clear, clear acrylic. So I'll let Hector do like a fun ASMR pill. Why you gotta let me do this? Oh, <laughs> look at that. And just comes smoothly right off. And the other side. I don't know if I can grab it. I don't have nail. Do you have nail? Right here. Yeah. Finish it off. Finish it off. Oh, look at that view. You love you. And yes, it is a clear call, so you can just drop it back in. And now it goes in much smoother. Yep. But that's not all. You have other compartments, so each side has its own compartment. Um, this side is, and if you can see from the camera, each side has a little uh, indicator of what it's for. So this side is meant for dice. This side is, side is meant for cardboard or tokens or whatever you want to do. They're all magnetic. So on this side, if you pull it out, you'll have a full large size dice tray. Um, it's almost, it can actually fit inside of this top compartment. Let's show you how big it is. And for the size comparison, my hand almost fits inside of it. Yeah, and it does not have small hands. And these are two compartments. So you have twice the storage space as what you normally would in other places. You can use these for cards, you can use them for dice, but they're just nice, good, large storage sizes, those spaces. And it also has a not notch on the side, so you can easily get your finger to pull them out. And on the other side, this compartment has trays, but these are also have a little magnetic lift, so you can easily grab onto them if you want to. Mm, I think I just know something. Hmm? I think I just know something. 
Put it in here. Almost fits. Almost fits. But this has a little flap, this little magnetic flap is so that when you have cards in here, there's a little notch on the side right here. So you can easily get your finger underneath and pull the cards out instead of having to fight be able to seal it. Oh yeah, there, there are other products that sort of specifically know where that's an issue. Yes. And of course you get two of those as well. Oh, that's, that's fun. That's fun. And then everything comes up, e folds up easily, back in, and magnetically, snaps right together. And then you have everything in there. This is pretty much the only product you would need to carry everything from your dice to your tokens, your cards, anything else that you possibly could need. So there. for me, I have a lot of standard Vanguard decks. I was able to put eight double sleeved Vanguard decks in here without deck boxes. I had a storage page uh, that used the storage dividers for both my tokens, for row and plant tokens, and also use them for uh, my ride lines at the same time, or for spare sleeves in case a sleeve busts and you want to change out a sleeve. Always gotta have extra sleeves, and then you can use usually a little storage in the top, put extra cards, you know. Yeah. Or you swap out whatever you need to do. Uh, when I'm at my locals, uh, the one I have, uh, I use it for like if I open up packs and don't want to have to deal with fighting to lose cards, I can just lay them in here and handle it when I go home. Or you can just use it for like an area for your dice so you don't have to fight with your dice tray all the time. You can just carry this around and throw the dice in there. Well, that is true. And vice versa. And like I said, if you want to use actual deck boxes, you can slide the divider over and it will fit um, most deck boxes in this side. Um, you probably fit about three. Mostly about three, three deck boxes. Yeah, and then have a place here for some storage for other stuff. But most of the time, I would say just put your cards loosely in here. The mm -hmm. magnets are really strong. Um, I've never had them like come loose or anything like that. And yeah, it's just a great overall product. Quality product. And like I said before, the material, they use a different material. Than yeah, the yeah it's like one of these newer ones. This is like a super soft material compared yeah, like, to the other ones, so. Almost kind of like suede. Yeah, like a Alcatara suede. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that was it for the- And it doesn't leave like any marks. Well, from what we can tell right now. Yeah, from what we can tell right now. But still, very, very nice product. But I we got that. more than just the box. We, yeah, when you have a game box like this, you gotta have accessories to go with it. But you gotta have some dice to go in your new deck box. So that way you can have more style to go with it. And with that, we got some, the Game Genic also makes dice. Uh, they make E6 and the standard size and the smalls and different colors uh, based on things from Galaxy. Uh, these are themed for Neptune. These are made themed for the moon. Moon. Mars and Aurora. And we'll go ahead and open these up so you can see what the colors look like in person. I'm opening up this one. So we'll start off with the moon. Because I like the moon and I'm very selfish. <laughs> Ooh. See this. Oh. That side. And these are actually a lot sharper than I thought they were. Yeah. Be. Like most of the time when you get like uh chestic dice or um, dice from other companies, they're kind of rounded. Mm -hmm. These are like, they're rounded, but they're very sharp at the same time. They're not sharp. They're, they're not going to cut you or anything, but like you can feel the difference. Yeah. So these are going to like roll really flat on the ground. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're not laying nicely. You don't see them kind of roll off. They just have a nice solid land. I like that. And the colors are really nice too. Like. Mm -hmm. You can see the kind of like glittery effect in there. I think they hit the whole moon look on those pretty spot on. They did. That's exactly why I wanted these. <laughs> but we'll see the other colors just as well. So the next one we'll go, we'll go in uh, series. We'll go Aurora to kind of hit with the earth theme. These are the standard D6. Oh, this standard package is pretty good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It'll um, hold them in there very well. You can really, I don't know if you can oh, get this on the camera. Oh. You can really see the translucency in these. You can yeah, look, look these, these, are, these are great. The color just matches well. Yeah. And honestly, it's the same thing with the corners. Like they're they're really sharp, but like rounded. So you get that kind of really sharp feel, but not to where it hurts you. And they have a nice, good solid roll, land flat. Don't worry about them rolling as much. 
And I think the greens and the purples really kind of hit the Aurora look to them. I think they nailed that as well. Like it's just that right kind of um, magenta color. Yeah, like that, just that perfect hue that it fits both of them. And it has like that kind of green goblin kind of green. <laughs> I think that's the <laughs> green best goblin way. slash Hulk. Yes, I think that's the best way to put it. Man, the green on this one though. Yeah, yeah. like that was totally cool. Cool. Yeah. But next, we'll move on. Going down to the Mars. I love how these come out a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> it's because they have just one big container. But with these, you get a bunch of like coppery reds and blues. A little subtle hint of green in there. This is orange too. It's supposed to be red, but it comes off more orange. I think it depends on how the light hits it. Yeah. Like, it looks like orange to me because like this one, you see how it's more. Yeah, it's like a tangerine orange, mm -hmm. like where it's more. Where they, and like the yellow hue also hits it very well. Yeah, but just as just as well, these will roll really well. <laughs> and then we'll move on to the last one, which is the Neptune. Let's get this out of the way. <laughs> and my Neptune is supposed to be more blues and greens to mm -hmm. kind of match the water look. I will be the judge of that. <laughs> oh man, that looks nice. Oh, it's like a mint in like cobalt blue. Mine kind of looks a little bit purple this year. Yeah. Like because it, it mixes in very well. Yeah, it goes from blues to purples to greens, which fits Neptune very well because it has the blue, but also has like the very hue purplish of space. Yeah, like, this, this is like, really nice. Yeah, like you can tell this is look at that sort of difference in here. And again, like the whole translucency, you can look straight through it and see like the kind of swirls inside of the die dice. It doesn't look like it's like right up against the dice. It looks like it's inside of the dice, which is nice. So these are great for the complement your deck box. I would say the Mars dice, if you're wanting to go with the, the black and orange, is probably a better fit. Or maybe the moon. Moon's my personal choice. As you can tell, I'm very selfish with. But overall, I have Really good. And I like to thank GameGenic for let, giving us these products to review. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can see more products down the road depending on how things go. Um, and with that, also, one of these is going to be given away. US only, unfortunately. Yes, US only, unfortunately. You make things easy. But um, just give us a comment, I guess, uh, down below uh, which of these you would like, uh, which GameGenic product you like the most. No, hold on. We, we decided which one we're giving away, right? Uh, I think we're gonna give away the Auroras. The Auroras? Yes. Which I believe are these. They're the standard size and it's the green and purples. Oh. Also, um, if you wanna get these products. And uh, then, unfortunately you don't get them in the giveaway. You can always find them at your local store that does provide uh, game genetic products. Yes. Um, I don't think you can get these on their website, but the website does give you a link to places that you can probably find these. So if you, you can't find a local game store, I'm sure that they can find give you locations to where you can find these for, for you. And yeah, uh, support your local LGS and hopefully your local LGS. And again, thank you to GameGenic for giving us these products to review. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll have more products like this in the future. See you guys in the next one. <laughs> I mean, when you said choose which one you want, I was like, hold on, motherfucker, they're not choosing my moon. Yeah, I heard that too. Like, and that's why I said, hold on now.